everyone. It's Michelle. How are you? Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it as always. I hope you are all having a great day so far. So today I have a little bit of a different type of video for you and I wanted to share with you my new summer bag. And I, um, you know, I, I got it in the mail probably back in March and I've been hanging on to it just for the special time, you know, that Memorial Day hits that I can kind of start bringing out all my summer stuff. And since it is Memorial Day weekend coming up, I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm ready to get the summer bag on and transition. So I wanted to show you number one, what I got. And number two, just kind of going from my spring bag, which I had to my summer bag, I'm going to, you know, show you what I have in my bag and, and all the crazy contents. So if you are interested in this type of video, go ahead and join me, keep watching, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the spring bag that I've been carrying is this one, this big old tote bag. This is by Rebecca Minkoff. And this, I looked up the name of this. This is the Moto Tote and the color is Latte. And I love these huge type tote bags. This is really cool because it's got the two handles, but then it also has the shoulder strap. It's got a, just a really kind of slouchy feel to it. It holds a ton of stuff. Um, you know, I've just gotten so much use out of it. It's got a beautiful lining. Look at how pretty that is with the, the silver butterflies. But you know, Rebecca Minkoff, it is pricier. Um, I did get this on sale on the Rebecca Minkoff website. So um, I know you can, you can also get these at uh, Nordstrom Carries Them. I, I have seen Rebecca at uh, Nordstrom Rec as well. So um, anyways, this is my spring bag. I've really been loving it. I love the color too. It's just such a great, you know, nude type color goes with everything and um, has been really great for me. But I'm ready to step it up into my new summer bag. This is my Tory Burch. I got this on the Tory Burch website. I think that was probably, you know, February, March timeframe. This was on sale. I don't know that it's available anymore on the Tory Burch website, but I did see it earlier on, you know, eBay and Amazon. So I think that it is still available. The name of this one is the York Straw Buckle Tote. And so again, it's just a really great tote, huge, huge bag that holds a ton of stuff. So, uh, you know, it still has a tack on it. I just pulled it out. Um, and there is the interior. So it's got two huge sections and then a pocket here in the middle. So what I thought I would do is transition all of my stuff from my spring bag to my summer bag. And as I'm doing that, I will show you what I have in there. So first things first, I've got my wallet, which I love. This is actually the second one of these that I have bought. I have a, um, a black patent one in the same style. This is by Hobo. I got this at Nordstrom Rack as well. These are pretty, pr pretty pricey. I want to say that I spent maybe... 50 60 dollars something like that on these um and you know full price they're probably upwards more of a hundred but this is a really great quality fun um you know fun type wallet actually you could probably use this even more like uh you know a little purse as well there um there are two different openings on either side which hold cards and whatnot and then on the inside, you have a section for your driver's license. There's a, a slot for three credit cards. And then this is where you have your money and stuff. So this holds so much. And then just, you know, when you fold it up, it's just really nice and compact. So I love these. I, I don't know that I would ever go back to just a regular conventional wallet just because I have so much crap. Or maybe the key is for me to downsize and maybe not carry so much crap but anyways i love this highly recommend these if you can find them these are awesome so that is my wallet um all right so kind of going through what i currently have in my bag it's a big old mess but you know it is what it is i have my um makeup bag and this is kind of cha ever-changing. It's got some rotating products that I have, 
you know, when I get new things, I'll, I'll add them to my makeup bag and, and, you know, there, there are definitely some things that I, that I always carry, but this is a bag that I have had for probably 10 years. My, my very best friend who has now since passed away, he bought this for me for one of my birthdays. This is from Prada. And um, not only is it just a great size, it, it holds everything that I need, but it's, you know, also, also kind of sentimental as well. So I have always carried this. I mean, look, like I said, this has, you know, I've, I've carried it for years and years and years and uh, it's fraying a little bit here, but it still is in great, great, great shape. So, you know, you know, even though a lot of the um, designer brands are more expensive, the quality is there and they, they do last long. So um, anyways, let me show you what I have in my makeup bag. I just really carry um, mainly lip products and powder. Um, first off, I have my Neutrogena Mineral Shears Powder Foundation. This is a holy grail product. I've got about maybe three of these. I have one in my bathroom vanity. I have one in my purse. I've got one upstairs. Um, so, you know, just, it's just a great, um, sheer powder foundation that just kind of helps keep everything looking good. Um, when I don't have any makeup on, I just kind of put it all over and it, it just gives me that really perfect coverage that I need. So love this. I use the color, um, classic ivory. I also have another powder, which is cute. I think I probably just keep this in here for the cute packaging. Um, but this is actually from Tony Moly. It's a, a, like I said, it's another powder compact. I mean, it is adorable. I do like the, uh, the powder as well in there too. So I have that as well. Um, okay, I've got a couple lip glosses here. I've got uh, NARS Chelsea Girls, which is a, a staple, I think, in probably everyone's uh <laughs> makeup wardrobe this is such a beautiful nude sheer um lip gloss that would look amazing on everyone that's probably why it's so popular this is one of those maybelline um elixirs this color is in blush essentials and it's just a really sheer pink color i love the way these smell too so i, I always have that on hand this is a cute little um NARS hot pink lipstick and I love the pigmentation on this look at that so if I you know if I'm out and about and I want something extra I kind of just use this to throw on and it gives me great um color I don't see the color listed on here but I will look it up and um and notate it below um, another gloss type item I have is the uh, Milani Moisture Lock Lip Oil, and this is in the Grape Seed Oil Infusion. This smells so good. This is great. I actually like this for like, you know, in the morning when I go to the gym or whatever, my, my lips kind of get dry. I actually like to just use this. Um, these are awesome. I am so impressed with these. Um, I, I actually probably want to get a couple more of these, but anyways, I, I do keep this in my bag. And then I have another lipstick, shocking, <laughs> nude lipstick at that. These are from Bite Beauty, and this is a double-ended lipstick. Um, this, is, this one side is in lychee, beautiful nude color. And then this one is in musk. And this one is really pretty as well. So I love to keep these, again, just on hand when I need a little bit extra coverage. Um, love, love, love those lipsticks. And then lastly in, oh, actually I've got two things. So I have, I have this Becca, um, this is the Beach Tint. Um, hang on. The color is watermelon. If you guys have not tried these, you've got to check these out. This I actually use for lips, cheeks, and eyes. So again, if I'm out and about, I don't have a lot of makeup on, but I find myself, you know, needing that extra kind of color or glow or whatever, I will pull this out and use it for whatever I need it for. So if I need, you know, just a little bit, um, kind of a dab on my uh, my lips, I'll use it there. If I need some color on my cheeks, I'll use it there. And then I actually sometimes just pop it on my eyes too. So this is in the color watermelon and it smells like watermelon. 
it smells so good. So um, I love having this, just kind of a multi-purpose type product. And then lastly in my makeup bag, I have the um, a perfume. This is Laura Mercier Almond Coconut Milk. This, I, I actually got this in a, a set. I think it was a set of three of them uh, for the holidays. This smells so good. It's just so nice and clean. I love these Laura Mercier perfumes. So if you are not a real big, heavy, flowery, perfumey type person, these are really, really nice. Just, this actually smells a lot like vanilla. So just a really nice, light, clean smelling, um, just extra, you know, shot of, uh, of, of scent. So love those. So that is my, my makeup bag. And then I have a brush, which I always need. Um, this is just a great little travel size brush. I think I got it at Target. So love that. I've got um, sunglasses, which you can always, always use and need. I, actually, over the last couple days in Texas, it's been very rainy. So that's probably why they're in my purse. But um, these are from Ray-Ban. I got these at Nordstrom. Love these. And then I have this cute little bag. Look at how cute this is. I got this at H&M. And you know what? I, I guess I should have said, none of my like interior stuff is matchy-matchy. Like I know a lot of people have the matchy cosmetic bag and the matchy wallet and the matchy, you know, everything's matchy-matchy, but this is just like so not. I got this bag. It is holographic. It's kind of blue and it's opaly pink. This is so pretty. I got this at H&M. It was like $6. And I bought this, um, I don't know, maybe around the holidays. And this I use just to store little just odds and ends that usually would get lost otherwise in my bag. So I have reading glasses for those times when I'm out at the restaurants and need a little bit of extra help when I'm looking at my menu. Hair clippies, hair ties, uh, tissues, um, a mirror. Just, you know, a little, I've uh, got band-aids, banaka, just, you know, a little extra stuff that, um, that kind of keeps my, my purse nice and clean. So I do have that. And I think that pretty much does it. I've got more receipts, shocking. I shop all the time. I've got change, a handful of change at the bottom of my purse that just, you know, collects and... I hate, another th another thing about me is I hate putting things back in my wallet. So I'm so bad, like if I'm shopping, I'll just give the girl the credit card and throw it back in my purse. Or, you know, show my ID and just throw, ba throw it back in my purse. Like I hardly ever put anything away. So when I need it, it's so hard to find, especially in these big old things. So that's one thing just about me. But um, so yeah, so I always find crap at the bottom of my purse. I have, um, there's really a couple other things in my side pockets here. I've got some pens. I've got some extra gum and a little notepad in case I need to, uh, you know, take any notes. And then, of course, I always have my cell phone. It is attached to me by the hip, and that is um, that is always around, too. So, yeah, so that does it. I'm actually kind of excited to to see this one go bye-bye for a while and then move into my new bag. So... I'm going to go ahead and get all of this other stuff situated and put in there and um, I will show you what it looks like when we're all done. Here we are. We've got it all filled up and oh my gosh, I have got so much room in here. Look at this. There's just my wallet on that side. I've got my two other bags, my cosmetic bag and my little goodie bag on the other side. And then I just put my, um, my, my, pen and notebook and gum there in the middle so I've got tons of stuff tons of room for all sorts of goodies um, we're actually going out of town this weekend so this will be great to bring along and uh, and fill it up as I needed so I think I'm going to love it um, I know that they have the same style uh, in just a kind of an all leather version which you know I may have to check into as well but that kind of does it for my bags. Let me know if you have tried or seen any of these and what your thoughts are. I love Tory Burch as a brand. I do have um, many of her bags. But like I said, I always like to get things on sale. So, um, you know, I highly recommend 
going on the websites, getting on their mailing list, and then um, you are notified when you, you know, when you are, when they uh, start having sales. So with that, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.